Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. This is Klein's new pocket continuity tester for coaxial cable. Its advantage is it's real small and light. It's only five inches long and it only weighs 4.8 ounces. This is the male area where you would attach the included F-type barrel connector. It's female by female, this is male. So you just press it in there like that. And now I have made up four different cables here. Say you have four television sets in your house. So you got four lines coming from the service. To perform a test, remove this remote that's located on the bottom of the tool. When you unscrew the remote, that turns the tester on, which conserves your battery. Okay, so here's your remote right here. It's got a speaker right there. So it's got a, a beeping on, on one end, and the other end has got two lights that will be green. These little LED lights will be green if the cables are good. They'll be red if the cables are bad. So take your remote and put it on the end of line number one. And it's got a knurled metal here to make it uh, easy to uh, screw in and then on the other half uh, just really you just got to press it and you see this end here has the beeper a little speaker there and this end has the green lights there's two green lights right there like that so our line number one's good so let's test line number two. Take the remote off of number one and put it on the end of number two. Okay, so line number two is good. Then we take the remote off of number two and put it on to number three. Okay, number three is good. Uh, now number four, and test it out. Okay, number four is good. So now, what happens if you have a bad line? So here I have one that I've sunk a, a screw right through. Perhaps it's in a wall and someone just uh, decided to hang a photo or something and got the screw right through the coaxial cable. <laughs> So you take the remote and put it on one end of the cable. Okay, and then you take your tester. Okay, there's no beep and you got a red LED light. So that shows you that this is a bad coaxial cable. Now to turn this tester off, all you do is screw the remote in and that turns it off. Since this comes with it, a good place to store it is actually right here. That way you won't, you won't lose the F-type barrel connector. This tester runs on one AAA battery. And I'll show you where it is. There it is, one AAA battery. goes right in there like that. And you screw it back together. You're probably wondering how this new uh, pocket continuity tester stacks up against other Klein testers I've shown you in previous videos. This one is about $28 right now and the, its big advantage is it's lightweight and small. It is not bulky, slips right in your tool bag or in your pocket. This is the Coax Explorer 2 with remote kit and it's about $25. It's got four remotes. It's got a blue, a green, a red, and a black and it's got pass or fail for all the different uh, colored remotes right there. And then this is the Scout Pro 2 tester kit and it's about $82. It's got uh, five remotes for coax and five remotes for ethernet. It has uh, quite a few more functions than either of the other two. So each one has its benefits and in a nutshell, that's how they stack up against each other. I'll put links in my video description for the Klein Pocket Continuity Tester, the Klein Coax Explorer 2 with remote kit, and the Scout Pro 2 Tester Kit. 
And I'll put a link for the Scout Pro 3. It's a brand new tester from Klein and it's going to be coming in around $90 and I'm going to be making a separate video about that. Also, I'll put links for the Klein Coax Stripper, Compression Crimper, Multi-Cable Cutter, and for a 50-pack of Klein F-Connectors. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.